everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be dump and go dessert for the crock pot this is the time of year that we're all doing a lot of baking with the holidays coming up and it's fall time outside it's starting to cool off here in Georgia and it's always my favorite thing to smell something baking when it is cool out it gives me all the cozy vibes and with the holidays coming up life gets hectic enough so I decided to pull some recipes online and give them a try in my crock pot because I got the recipes online and pretty much followed them to a T I will not put the recipe on my screen this time as I want to give the original creator of the recipe credit so you can find all four recipes linked below that you can print out if you would like to try. Also, if you have any recipes of your own that you'd like to share, let us know in the comments below. Our first recipe is a peanut butter chocolate cake. If you're a peanut butter fan, then this one's for you. All you'll need is a box of Devil's Food Cake Mix, water, melted butter, three eggs. You'll also need some Reese's peanut butter cups, powdered sugar and also some peanut butter. The first thing I did was mix together my cake mix, water, butter, and eggs. that mixed well I just went ahead and I chopped up some Reese's to throw in and you can do as much or as little as you like of these and I just stirred those into the batter. After I sprayed my crock pot with some cooking spray, I just poured the batter into the bowl, covered it, and cooked it on high for two hours. After the two hours, the recipe says to remove the cake from the heat to prevent any more cooking. So I went ahead and done that. And you just want to melt down your peanut butter and powdered sugar in a pot over low medium heat. And you're going to drizzle that over the cake and top with some more Reese cups. was it for this recipe it was easy and it smelled amazing while it cooked I would definitely make this one again and it was even better the next day next recipe is a cheesecake I didn't think it was possible to make a cheesecake in the crock pot but it is so all you will need is five large eggs a half a teaspoon of salt some sour cream three blocks of cream cheese sugar flour, vanilla extract, 
some graham crackers and melted butter. Like I said earlier, for exact measurements on everything, the recipes will be in my description box. started by first crushing my graham crackers for the crust and once I had them crushed I just poured and mixed in the melted butter and it wasn't mixing very well in the Ninja it kind of wanted to stick to the blades so I just stirred it together with a spoon. Then next you want to line your crock pot with some parchment paper and spray it with some cooking spray. You just want to press the graham cracker and butter mixture over the bottom to create your crust. Now I'm just mixing my sugar and cream cheese together. Once I had that mixed, I went ahead and put in my sour cream, eggs, vanilla, and salt, and then we're gonna blend that together until smooth. probably should have used more parchment paper as my cheesecake batter overflowed the paper some but it still turned out okay. This is the finished product. That split in the middle is actually from me poking it to make sure that it was done. The recipe did not have this, but I feel like it needed something a little extra. So I let some strawberries soak in some sugar for a little while, and then I just lightly crushed them. And then I poured them over the top whenever I served it. Of course, you can top it with whatever you wanted, blueberries, cherries. Um, I think it would be really good with some chocolate syrup or some caramel, whatever you like on your cheesecake. But this recipe was also a keeper. This next recipe was a bit of a challenge for me. Something just wasn't right. But I'll show you guys what I mean as we get into the recipe. And it could have may very well just have been my crock pot. For this, all you'll need is some ready to bake chocolate chip cookie dough, some milk chocolate chips, melted butter, a couple of eggs, and a box of brownie mix. First things first, I am spraying my crock pot with some cooking spray. Now the recipe just says to mix together your brownie mix, butter, eggs, and chocolate chips. It also called for nuts, but I left those out. So after you mix everything, it's supposed to be 
a pourable consistency and it was not pourable at all it was extremely dry and it was hard to stir so I thought to myself maybe I should add the oil and the water as called for on the back of the brownie box and that it would help so that's what I did even though the recipe doesn't say to do that and it was then a pourable consistency Next, you want to place the pieces of your cookie dough across the bottom of your crock pot and then we're going to pour the mixture over the cookie dough. I also had some cookie dough left over so I put some more on top. I placed the lid on and as the recipe called for I cooked on high for two hours before the two hours was even up the edges started to burn but I still continued to let it cook as the middle was just completely raw and then after two hours it was still raw so I just turned it to low for a while to try to allow the middle to cook some more and finally after about six hours it got done in the middle so if you make this let me know how it turns out for you um, we were able to eat the middle as I stated before the edges got completely burnt having to cook it so long and maybe I shouldn't have added the oil and water. I'm not sure if it was me or the recipe so let me know if you make this and how it comes out and what you did so that I will know for next time. The middle was absolutely delicious though. It was warm and gooey and it would have been perfect with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. This last recipe is chocolate chip cookie bars. Very easy and was a hit, although very rich, but I would make them again. All you will need is some butter. However, if I make them again, I think I will cut back on the butter. It called for a whole cup and I think it could get away with only half a cup. Some salt, eggs, chocolate chips, vanilla extract, some brown sugar, and all-purpose flour. You want to start by lining your crock pot with some foil to create a foil bowl. Then you just want to mix the brown sugar and butter together well. Add in my vanilla, eggs, salt, and flour and mix that really well. want to pour that into your crock pot 
top with some chocolate chips and you're gonna cook it on high for two and a half to three hours until it's done in the middle. The recipe also says to place a paper towel under your crock pot lid to catch any moisture. So that's what I did as well. Here is the final product, one big giant cookie, and it cuts up perfectly into bars. Like I said, I would make these again. I would just cut back on the butter. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of the crock pot dump and goes. If you have any recipes, leave them in the comments below. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.